Hi. A couple weeks ago, I was doing really bad mentally, actually. <laughs> I started an antidepressant that was not right for me. Um, trust me, I'm a very big advocate for antidepressants. Like, I'm not anti-antidepressant. Like, I'm pro-depressant. Like, not pro-depressed, but like anti-pro- I'm pro-antidepressants. Yeah. This one just didn't match with my body, you know what I mean? During that time, it gave me a lot of very, very weird side effects. I'm talking about like the weirdest side effects. Like, I was sweating profusely. I was like peeing four times a night. I had blurry vision. I had insomnia. I had no appetite. And I also happened to make a lot of PowerPoints in that time. That was one of the symptoms. My doctor didn't warn me of that. Anyway, that's how this PowerPoint presentation came about. Uh, men I would cheat on my boyfriend with. I'll get into that in a second, but I tend to be very creatively inspired when I'm not doing well mentally, which is just not a good thing, and I'm working on changing that. Although I am grateful for what I went through because this PowerPoint came out of it, so. Speaking about mental health, a quick word from our sponsor today. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I've been pretty open with you guys recently about my struggles with mental health, what has helped me, and one of the main things that has helped me is therapy, hands down. BetterHelp will help assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And it's really timely, so you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, It's professional counseling done securely online. There is such a large range of expertise within BetterHelp's over 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in many areas, plus the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log in at any time into your account and send a message to your therapist, and you'll also get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus the option to schedule weekly video or phone sessions, so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like with traditional therapy, which I've definitely done before. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is also available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash Nicole Raffi. That's better H-E-L-P. And of course, special offer to my subscribers. You can get 10% off of your first month of BetterHelp if you go to betterhelp.com slash Nicole Raffi. And join over the 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Thank you. Okay, let's get into the juicy stuff. All the men that I would cheat on my boyfriend with. I don't have a pointer because, what am I, a teacher? No. However, I did steal one of my cat's toys. It's literally fine. She doesn't care. She has a million toys. She literally plays with like my empty birth control packets. I'm sure she's doing fine within the 30 minutes that I'm going to film this. Um, an art installation by Nicole Raffi. So anyway, I don't know why I didn't go to art school. So um, what this video means, okay? My boyfriend and I have a healthy relationship, okay? He actually helped me make this video. He is my creative director. I'm just kidding, he's a mechanical engineer. Anyone wanna hire him? We have a great relationship that's very trusting. I talk to my boyfriend about men. He talks to me about all the Chris's. I don't know, Chris Evans, Chris Pratt. I don't, I don't give a shit about them, to be honest. It also means that I have taste. I didn't say good taste, I just said I have taste. So that's good. Thank God I never had COVID. It also means that I bought a projector just to make this video. So prepare for more projector videos because I did not spend the $70 on the Black Friday deal that Best Buy has going on currently, even though it is still October, to not make more projector videos. So you're welcome. Next slide. What this video does not mean, okay? That I will cheat on my boyfriend. That I have cheated. No, I am not seeking any of the people in this video, okay? This is all just for fun. I'm very committed to my boyfriend of four years. I'm not gonna suddenly just cheat on him, okay? I'm just kidding. If any of the people in this video see this and would like to contact me, I'm very easily reached at at Nicole Raffi on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Depop is at Nicole Raffi as well, I think. Yeah, TikTok is at Nikki Nasty. Um, and my email will be down in the description, although you'll be directly contacted to my manager. Um, but she can, she can let me know if you're interested. So I have a very long list. This is 42 slides. Okay. Sporticus. I don't know from what, oh, Lazy Town, that's what it is. I've been trying to think this entire time. I literally just remembered this man's name because I remember being incredibly attracted to him. I was going to say sexually attracted, but I was under the age of 10 for sure, so I don't want to say that. Okay, Sporticus, pros. I made a pros and cons list for most of these, okay? Um, he has a mustache. This has led me to liking mustaches on men down the road. My boyfriend currently has a mustache. It's just simply not as good as Sporticus's, okay? I don't remember why I wrote Mm. Just being honest with you, I don't remember writing that. I don't know what he looks like now, and that is a pro because I don't want to know, and I don't think it's as sexy as this. It could be, but I don't think it is. The less I know, the better. Tim and Paula was right. Next. Okay, cons. He hangs around too many children. That is a fact. I don't remember the show very well, but I don't know why this man who probably was maybe 32 in here, maybe 28, somewhere between there, 28 and 32. Fact check me on that. 
I don't have a fact checker. I am my own fact checker. I'm not going to fact check. But I don't know why he's hanging around this many children in the, in the, in the, in the show. So he only has one outfit. I think the hat's kind of fucking stupid. So anyway, I don't know if you can see here, but his eyebrows look really dumb. I'm not like one to speak because some people don't really like the way that my eyebrows look. Personally, I've moved past Anastasia dip brow phase. So I feel like, you know, any men that I cheat on should also. So anyway, next slide. The Holy Trinity. I was brought up Catholic. Okay. Um, so I'm using all of the knowledge that I learned in like my, like, I don't know, 10 years of Sunday school, um, I into here. Imagine if this video was like, just like me trying to sneak you guys all into Catholicism. Like this video is not about the men that I would cheat on my boyfriend with. It's just like me trying to convince you all to convert. Um, imagine that'd be crazy. I'm no longer Catholic, but we are going to talk about the Holy Trinity very briefly. The father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Let's start off with the father, which is Julian Casablancas. No one is surprised. Let's talk about some pros. That's Julian Casablancas, if you... Okay, pros. He's already used to dating 22-year-old women. So, I feel like that won't be weird. So, we'll serenade me so that I don't think. I have OCD, so I have a lot of thoughts in my brain at all times. It's constantly like a little tornado. I constantly need noise or sound or a podcast or a video or my own voice to fill this so that I can stop thinking. So it'll be really nice to have Julian Casablancas's voice to cover that all up. And also, uh, it may fix my fear of fathers. Julian Casablancas is a father himself. I have a fear of fathers. So I think that this might be good exposure therapy to date a father. Okay, cons. I have a fear of children and he has children. I don't necessarily want to be around them. I'm like already starting to like shake in my voice a little bit because I'm kind of scared of them. But anyway, I'm not ready to become a stepmommy. Okay. I think I'd be a kick-ass stepmom to be honest, but um, his kids and I might be too close in age. So anyway, potential to ruin all my favorite music and I will have to cancel my concert tickets. And the last con is that he's already used to dating 22 year old women. He's in his forties. Okay, next slide. The Sun, this is Fletcher Shears from the band The Garden. Fletcher Shears, pros, looks like a young and cleaner version of JC. JC, as in Julian Casablancas, not to be confused with Jesus Christ. I am talking about the Holy Trinity here, but I'm not talking about Jesus. Uh, immediately when I saw him, I was like, oh cool, it's Julian Casablancas rebranded. Pros is a drummer. My middle school crush was a drummer, so. And other pros are we can share clothes. He has very good taste in what would be the stereotypical women's clothing. And I just don't really have good taste, um, but exhibit A, hot. Exhibit B, sexy. Okay, if you want to look at more examples, you have to do that on your own time. Cons, he had a brother who had trench mouth. This is key information because I really care about oral health. I read an article that his twin brother had trench mouth at one point, which is when your gums get very inflamed because you don't brush them. And because he looks just like his twin brother, I don't think that I would be able to get past that. I would think about that a lot. Has a very pretty girlfriend. I don't want to get in the way of that. She's very beautiful and very talented. So... I think I should see my way out. Holy Spirit. For those of you who may not know, no, this is not Julian Casablancas or Fletcher Shears' father nor grandfather. This is Ray Romano. Pros. Looks like an older and cleaner version of JC. Once again, that's Julian Casablancas, not Jesus Christ. Cons. It is Ray Romano. The Holy Trinity. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I blended all their faces together online. This is what I got. Okay, keep that in mind. Amen. Pete Davidson. This comes as no shock to anyone. This is every single person. Ev everyone, everyone would cheat on their boyfriend with Pete Davidson. Pros. We understand each other's bathroom issues. I have IBS. He has Crohn's disease. We shit ourselves a lot. Very hot and sexy. And the last pro is that I have not laughed in seven months and six days. Approximately. I kind of, you know, try to look at my little calendar. It's been a long time and I could use a laugh from a comedian so cons no saturday night dates he's on snl we wouldn't be able to go out on saturday nights i mean that'll probably change probably in like the next year or so when the next season comes out because he'll probably be fired by then but still no saturday night dates as of right now and also as a comedian we'll probably not think i'm very funny understandable my whole sense of humor is about oh my dad left oh i'm gonna shit myself oh my god i have ocd so like i i get it and his whole sense of humor is my dad died in 9 11 and I shit myself. Um, and another con is that we will have no grandfathers for our kids. You know? 
because mine left and his died in 9-11. So, Bretman Rock, that is him for Playboy. Prose is the most attractive man ever, that's just a fact. Will probably like to go on hikes with me. I like hiking a whole lot. It seems like he likes to go hiking a whole lot. I think we would vibe well together. And also it would be a long distance relationship. I like long distance relationships um, because then I can make PowerPoints like these. Okay, cons has significantly more sex appeal than me. Bretman Rock is with Playboy. I am wearing a cow Sherpa. Oh my God, I'm so quirky. I have no sex appeal. I'm so funny and quirky and cute. Oh my God. And lastly, will not like me. That might have something to do with his sexuality, but Rami Malek, I love Rami Malek. As you can see throughout this entire video, there's clearly um, a type that I have. I'm just kidding, I actually don't have a type. Unless by the end of this video, you guys see a consistent theme, I'd like to actually know that. Pros is that he knows my good friend Pete, Pete Davidson. He, they were just both on SNL. So. Another pro is that he can channel Freddie Mercury's ghost for me. And uh, last pro is that he has a twin. Uh, I know we had some bad experiences with twins in the past and with trench mouth and everything, but I looked up a photo and it seems like his brother has good oral hygiene, so. Cons. He knows my good friend Pete. You know, that might be slight interaction. Eye contact. I feel like eye contact with Remy Malik might be a little bit scary, a little bit intimidating. Um, and I'm always nervous, so I don't really need much more intimidation in my life right now. Avenjogia. Pros. Talented, beautiful, intelligent. <coughs> Cons. Talented, beautiful, and intelligent. This is gonna be really hard. It gets intimidating when men are all three. Like I can I can tolerate like two. One out of three is preferable, but all three, um, that's a lot of pressure on me. Women, Doja Cat. I don't really feel like I have to say a lot. This is her dressed up as a knight for her Instagram live. Uh, Florence Pugh, everyone loves Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh is for the girls and the girls only. Thank you. Debbie Ryan, I don't give a shit what you guys say about her. All the memes have only made her shine brighter. I based my haircut off of this. I've loved her since forever. I love her husband. He's so lucky. Okay. Missy Elliott. I know this might seem kind of random, but I think Missy Elliott was my first sexual awakening. I had a second sexual awakening for an entirely different reason, which we'll get into later on in this video. But I think Missy Elliott was my first crush that I have ever had as soon as I saw her on MTV. Okay. People with no cons. Questionable. Like, I obviously don't know that. Haven't done enough research. They just seem perfect in my mind. Uh, John Stamos. I don't feel like I need to say a lot. I've talked about him enough. Um, Puss in Boots. This, this is the sexual awakening that I was referring to earlier. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I'll leave you with that. David Coenna from Lilo and Stitch. I love Lilo and Stitch so much, and he did something for me. Uh, also, Cobra Bubbles did something for me, uh, also from Lilo and Stitch. Um, <clears throat> so did Pleakley from Lilo and Stitch. Um, I don't know, I felt like that was a pretty big childhood crush of a lot of young girls, I think. Um, then Pleakley and Drag. This is like a core memory of mine. I asked my friends if they felt similarly like as kids. And they said no, so if anyone had felt similarly growing up, like let me know in the comments down below to make me feel a little bit better. Okay, next slide. Freddie Mercury in drag. Also, Baby No Money in drag. The music video, I've watched it like maybe 19 times yesterday. Him, it's what all of these aspired to be. Even though Freddie Mercury was way before his time or him's time. I stand by what I said. Him scared me as a kid, but now I get it. I get the appeal. And then last one in this category is Heath who saw when he was not thriving. I don't really want to get into this one and I will not be taking any further questions. So next slide. Okay. Um, and the last person that I included, I, I actually talked to my boyfriend Adam about this prior to me making this video. And I was like, oh my God, wouldn't it be so funny if I included this person into my PowerPoint? I feel like a lot of people are going to agree with me. And he was just like, Nicole, please, out of respect for our relationship, don't include that. Like that kind of hurts my feelings. And I was like, okay. Like at first I was like, no, I respect that. Like you want to respect your relationship. And I've been with him for literally forever. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to like ruin my relationship and like cause like a huge fire. Like a breakup over this, which honestly I feel like it might lead to because it's that big of a deal to him. Um, but I have a feeling that he didn't make it to the end of this video. Like I just have a feeling like maybe he didn't even click on it. Like maybe it would hurt his feelings. So I was like, I think I'm going to include it anyway. Like I think it might, I don't know. I feel like it's really good. And like a lot of you guys will agree with me. And if he gets mad at me, he gets mad at me, whatever. Um, but if the person who does see this video, like if, if they see like the person who I'm about to show, if they do see this video, please reach out to me. I'm not joking. 
like I said, my Instagram is at Nicole Raffi. My TikTok is also at Nikki Nasty. Twitter is at Nicole Raffi. Uh, everything is literally at Nicole Raffi. Um, so literally reach out to me. Um, the next person that I would 100% cheat on my boyfriend with, like no doubt about it, um, is... <laughs> Sometimes.